Welcome back to my animal education series. Today I'm going to teach you guys about badgers, specifically the American badger, the European badger, and the honey badger. Each one of those animals are completely cool and unique in their own different ways, but I'm going to give you guys a rundown of all three animals. But this video would not have been possible without other animal lovers, such as Zoo Montana, Tanantia Wildlife Park, and Wildwood Trust. So thank you guys for so much for all the footage that you guys uh, sent me for the badgers. Um, I think badgers are super fascinating animals. I do say that about a lot of animals, but badgers specifically because I never really knew a whole lot about them growing up. Even though I was super into animals, I never really took the time to learn about badgers specifically. I was always kind of more into reptiles and stuff. So it's cool to have people out there that are willing to support me and have me learn and teach you guys about these amazing animals. And before we get any further into this, if you guys notice when I throw my arms and stuff out that I'm covered in stuff, uh, I was pulling vines out of a bush, and I didn't realize until after I ripped the vine out that it was poison ivy, which is great. But I'm dealing with that. It's getting a whole lot better. But uh, before I get to my comments, like some, I have some deadly illness. I, it's just poison ivy, but I'm all good. But without any further ado, let's get into the video. Let's take a look at the badger's distinct markings. I'm going to throw up a picture right now showing you guys all three badgers at the same time. On the left is the American Badger, in the middle is the European Badger, and on the right is the Honey Badger. So as you can see, the American Badger has black, silver, and white markings, with a mostly silver face and white and black stripes down its back. The European Badger has a mostly white face with silver and black markings from its neck, around its eyes, and down its back. And then the Honey Badger has a mostly black face and body, and will have some silver and white stripes down its back. All of these badgers have a very similar build. Short muscular legs, a wide body, a small head, and long durable claws. These animals are built tough and built to dig. A lot of the animals that these badgers want to eat are at the ground level or below the ground. So if they want to eat, oftentimes they have to dig after it and they have to dig fast before their prey item is able to escape. The American badger can get anywhere from 20 to 30 inches in length and can weigh anywhere from 14 to 33 pounds and the males will be slightly bigger than the females. And the American badger is an extremely solitary animal only seeking companionship in the late summer or in the early fall for the breeding season. And males will actually try to breed with as many females as possible to try to be the father as as many litters as possible. And then once the breeding season is over, they all go on their merry way and ignore each other until the next breeding season and then the whole cycle re repeats again. But the European badger, however, is a lot more social than its American badger cousin. These guys will have actually been found to have multiple families of badgers in the same den. So that's more of an underground apartment complex versus the American badger's underground single person home. But these badgers are also a little bit bigger than the American badger. These guys are anywhere from 25 to 35 inches in length and between 15 and 40 pounds. Our friend the honey badger is also a little bit smaller than its European badger cousin. These guys get anywhere from 22 to 30 inches in length and between 20 and 35 pounds when they're fully grown. And like the North American cousin, these guys also live a mostly solitary lifestyle. But it has been observed that these badgers will pair up to hunt and kind of live together for a short period of time before the breeding season. It is believed that they do this to have the males kind of keep other males away so that he can breed with this one female. But once the breeding season is over, they go off and split their separate ways. Now let's talk about the habitats for our new badger friends. The American badger is found in open grasslands and prairies in the United States and Canada. And as their range extends southward towards Mexico, they'll be found in arid desert regions as long as there is food and water available for them. The European badger is found throughout Europe and into Western Asia. And these guys prefer woodlots and the edges of pastures and clearings. And these guys have even been known to be great pest control for people's gardens. They have adapted quite well for living on the edge of human development. And that's a lot where the garden and the pest control comes in because people, when they're not in the city or in towns, want to plant gardens. And these guys will eat all the rodents and stuff that are attacking people's plants. These guys have also been known to dig burrows under trees 
and it provides great protection from predators on underneath the tree. And also when they wake up in the morning, it's a good place to scratch and get a nice itch off of their back. Sorry for the little cut there. I wanted to make sure I got the information for the honey badger correct and not miss a bunch of information in one lawn spiel. But the honey badger is typically found in arid shrub areas of Sub-Saharan Africa, Morocco, Algeria, Iran, and Western Asia. And these guys have been found anywhere in habitats from sea level to 4,000 feet above sea level in the Ethiopian Bale Mountains. Sorry for the quick little change up in scenery here. I ended up having some errands to run yesterday and that took me until it was dark out. And then this morning, there's a big thunderstorm outside, so I didn't want to go out and film in the rain. So here I am in my room and I have my animal cage here, so it's still wild enough. I got some wildlife implants going on there. But without any further delay, uh, let's get right back into the badger's diet. So these badgers are very opportunistic feeders and they will go after a lot of things. And as I mentioned before, their prey spends a lot of time on the ground or in burrows. So these badgers will spend a lot of time sniffing along the ground trying to find their prey and digging after them if they need to. These badgers, as I also have mentioned before, are very, very well adapted to doing so. But some of the animals that they will eat, I'll throw up a picture on the screen to kind of give you guys a general list of that. But the animals that they will eat are small mammals, rodents, snakes, small reptiles, amphibians, insects, and their larvae. And then occasionally will also eat grasses, fruits, and other plants. This diet, however, will vary from animal to animal and area to area, but it mostly just depends on what is available to them at the time. Each of these animals are unique in their own way, and the American badger and the honey badger have really thick skin that hangs off their body a little bit at their neck and in their back. So when a predator goes after the badger, they will grab onto that loose skin, and that gives the badger a little bit more wiggle room to fight back against the animal trying to eat them. And both of these badgers are pretty aggressive. The honey badger especially is extremely aggressive and a really fierce animal. When I was doing my research on the honey badger, I actually saw carrion was a food item for them, and for those of you who don't know, carrion is just a dead animal. So not only will the honey badger actually eat dead animal remains, but have also been known to chase lions, leopards, and hyenas off of their kills to steal some from themselves. Which I personally think is really incredible considering the size difference in between a hyena, a badger, and a lion. And there's typically a lot more hyenas and lions than there are the singular badger. The honey badger also has something in common with its neighbor, the hyena. They have anal pouches, which they use to mark their territory, and it is believed that the extremely strong smell from this pouch actually helps calm bees down enough while the honey badger raids their nest. The European badger is a very nice housekeeper and very neighborly animal to other animals in its home range. These badgers have been observed taking old grasses out of their burrows and then bring in new grass to freshen up the place. And these badgers will share their dens or their burrows with other families of badgers, foxes, and rabbits. Now this might seem like a very bizarre predator to prey living situation, but I will get to that in a second. Scientists believe that badgers will hide their young in thin chambers where the foxes cannot get to them. And then sometimes when the badgers will get hungry, they will go and have their neighbor the rabbit as a snack. It's not exactly a perfect living situation. We have talked about where they live, the similarities and differences between them, and how they live. But now let's talk about some of the animals that would try to eat our badger friends. So this is going to vary depending on which species it is, because the predators in their home ranges are completely different around the world. But for the American badger, being primarily nocturnal, these badgers look out for wolves, grizzly bears, and mountain lions. Bobcats and coyotes would typically not take on a fully grown badger, but they have been known to eat some younger badgers. And if the American badger is out during the day, then they have to watch out for an attack from the sky with the golden eagle. The European badger has very similar predators in its eastern range, like brown bears, wolves, and golden eagles. But in the European countries, these badgers will look out for the Eurasian lynx and larger owls but typically those predators are only searching after younger badgers. The honey badger, however, has fewer predators, but its tendency to pick fights with lions, leopards, and hyenas typically ends up with him being on the dinner menu. I guess it's not the brightest idea to be picking on predators much bigger than you. 
the honey badger also has another predator very unlike the other two badgers which are crocodiles which will try to eat these badgers when they go down to take a drink. The last little bit of information I wanted to share with you guys is that the American badger and the honey badger are primarily nocturnal animals while the European badger is to typically crepuscular, which means they are active during dawn and dusk. And all three of these badgers are listed as least concerned by the IUCN, which is great news for the badgers and for animal lovers everywhere. So thank you guys so much for bearing with all the setting changes here. And as always, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up down below, subscribe to my channel, and as always, I will see you next week.